Hey, let's go over IntelliJ. Uh, let's go over it from a brand new install. And at the very end of the screencast, I'll talk about if you already have it installed, how to add the Scala plugin. So we'll move pretty quickly here, or hopefully there's a lot of downloads to do. Um, but we have another in section that's entirely devoted to IntelliJ, so we'll cover more ground then. Um, for now, I'm gonna go to where I downloaded IntelliJ and I'm gonna get that fired up while I talk to you. Um, this is on a Mac. So I'm gonna drag it and put it in my application folder. I'm assuming that um, if you're installing on Windows or Linux, you'll be able to install it in a way that's ever appropriate for that operating system. So, and if you can't just leave some messages someplace and I'm sure somebody can help you out, maybe even me. So it looks like that's installed and now I'm gonna open up Spotlight. I'm gonna look for IntelliJ and then hit enter so we fire this up. Probably gonna give me a warning about this the first time. Here's the warning I was talking about. That's okay, I'm gonna hit open and then I should be presented with the wizard. Oh, but first, I have installed IntelliJ before. It's gonna ask me if I wanna import the old ones. I um, uninstalled it before talking to you and now I'm gonna install it fresh. I'm not gonna import the old ones because then we wouldn't have options like this where you can set your UI theme. I am gonna choose Darkula, key maps. I am going to, I'm gonna say I've never used IDEA before, even though I have, I'm just getting used to those Mac shortcuts now. Launch your script, I don't care about that right now. And then now the customization. For me, I don't do Android development or Swing, so I'll disable those. Version control, I will get rid of some of the ones that I never use anymore. Your mileage might vary. I'm just gonna show you what I do here. I'm not gonna do any plugin development, so I'll, I'll disable that as well. That should be good. Um, other tools. I wanna make certain terminal. Yeah, I like having terminal. Next featured plugins. This is where we wanna include, uh, include Scala. So hit install, and then it will begin the download process. Hopefully this is quick. And if it's not, I'll pause the video and bring it back up when it's done downloading. If this is your first time with IntelliJ, it is going to take, it could take a while. Even on these next screens, when we start to configure our project, there'll be a lot of downloads. So my screen might seem faster than yours. All right, so down here in the lower right, start using IntelliJ because it looks like Scala is installed. I'm gonna hit start. Now, in this case, we're gonna import a project and we're gonna import it from where I downloaded from my GitHub repo. That's that Scala for Spark Master that I unzipped here and we're gonna choose that folder. Then we're gonna choose import project from an external model and choose SBT. Next, we're given some options. We don't have a project JDK, so that's gonna be a problem. Let's hit new. And by default, it came up in the appropriate JDK for me. I assume that you have the JDK installed, and if you don't, you need to install one and then set it to wherever it is on this project. Again, I assume that you already have that installed. If you don't, just stop this install, stop this video, go and install that JDK, and then come back here. Click open, and then I'm gonna click finish. I already have an idea folder there. I'm just gonna say to overwrite it. You may not get this as your first time. I guess I'd really doubt it if you had this on your first time. So you won't be presented with that. Next, here's part of the downloads that I'm talking about. It'll ask me which modules, and it'll ask you as two. Just click them all, it's okay. I'll go over that in more detail later on. Just hit okay. Be popped up with the tip of the day. I'm not gonna read the tip of the day. I'm gonna hit close. I am gonna go to view tool windows project because I like to see this over here in the left. Now, we have an entire separate module on IntelliJ later on in the course. So I'm not gonna go over all the aspects of it now. We can go over it in more detail later on. So let's cover just some of the important things for this section, section one of the course. Let's expand these folders. And let's take a look at source, main, Scala. I'm gonna open up this sandbox. 
And then when I open up that sandbox, see down here in the lower right, scanning files to index and IntelliJ is going to do some work. And the first time you open this up, it might seem like uh, it's hung or it's really slow. Just take it from me, watch down here as it's indexing this project, especially for the first time. It will seem slow. It's going to probably take, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds, but just watch this. And then we'll come back to this Scala worksheet. And this is just a, why don't I describe it a little bit? This is just a nice way to experiment with Scala, or maybe as you get further along Scala with Spark, um, that you can just start to try out some of the APIs. It's similar to the Spark REPL, which if you see other tutorials out there, um, it's just a, it's a sandbox for you to play around with Scala. So that's how we're gonna treat it with worksheets. And it does some interactive compiling, so we'll get some immediate results without having to run it through formally through a compiler, so that's kind of nice. So we have this worksheets available to us, and we're I'm going to recommend that you really use this and you follow along with this section of the course that you actually type in some of these constructs that we'll go over. For example, it looks like we're loaded down here, so we can hit this play button. Do you see it up here? And then we'll have a split screen. It will take time for this first one where we'll go through and we'll actually compile some of this example code. We can get a better reaction if we say println hello mundo. And I just stop typing and then wouldn't you know it, we've got something over here that says hello mundo. So again, we're not gonna go into a lot of detail here. I'll come back to this in later sections where as we go over some of the Scala uh, example code that I'll recommend that you come back here and actually type it in. If we are gonna to tour around a little bit, and let's do that, you'll also see that we have under Scalacom Superglue Skeleton. This is here for a helpful getting started for Spark. And again, we'll come back to that. We're not gonna cover that right now, but we can even we can even run this if we want. If we go to run, I right clicked here and clicked run skeleton. And again, look down in this lower right for some of the working that IntelliJ is doing. In this case, it's gonna compile it. And then we'll see an error here about not able to find the Spark Comp. But for you, I set something up. And if you go into this upper right here, do you see me up here in the upper right? You go to Edit Configurations. You'll see that we have Skeleton already. And the class path here, use class path for module. Choose IntelliJ Runner. This is a little bit of magic that I will show you here in a minute. I clicked Apply, then I'm gonna hit OK. And then let's try running this again. I click this, the green arrow button. And in this case, you'll see that it's actually working. Just to give you a, I don't know, uh, a heads up on where we're going, that is all done through this Build SPT that's part of this project that you downloaded from my GitHub repo. And what we're doing here is found in this IntelliJ runner. I'm gonna go over this much more later on. Okay, so we've got a worksheet, the sandbox, we have entered in some code. Um, we've got some existing code that's already there. And then we've got this skeleton object. Um, and we'll cover what objects are later and it's got a main method. If we ever wanna create our own worksheet, we can go to Scala, we can say right click on it, we can go to new, we can say Scala worksheet. So you can say new if you want. And you can have your very own worksheet. You, there's nothing stopping you from having multiple worksheets. And you can see the results here on the right. The same thing goes for if you want to create your own object. You can right click on uh, that package comp superglue in this case, and you can say Scala class, which we will do later on in the course. So I think this is our whirlwind tour of IntelliJ, and we're going to have your environment so you can start using the worksheet on these next few sections. Now, for your those of you that already have IntelliJ installed, and you may not have the Scala plugin ready to go, this is one way to do it. So it might be slightly different if you're on a Mac 
or a PC, but I'm gonna go up here to IntelliJ IDEA, preferences, there should be a plugin section here on the left, and you could say plugins and type in Scala, and you can see that I already have it installed. Or let's see, you can say, I think I went a little bit faster. Let's go in the in the bottom here. You can say install JetBrains plugin, and if you do that and type in Scala, you will see the that Scala is available, and then you'll have this option. I don't because it's already installed, but you'll then have the option to install it there. So that's what you do if you don't have the plugin installed. Let's see, am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah, well, we'll cover more. We'll cover more later on, um, but for now, I think this is good. Like, for example, we'll talk about later on, maybe having the SBT console over here. I'm down in the lower left part now. Um, but let's cover that later. Again, for now, the emphasis needs to be on the worksheet because I think this is going to be the best way for you to get some finger practice on typing some of this Scala example code that we'll go over next. All right, so let's wrap this up. And from here, we'll move on to more typing and more examples.